hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to take a look at the latest model from salesforce called xgen it's a 7b llm model which has been trained on 8k input sequence length so the model was just released and uh, in this video we are going to see how the instruction model works by creating a simple summarizer use, using Gradio. So we'll input some text and it's going to summarize it for us. So uh, the web page says that uh, the 7B uh, LLM XGen 7B has been trained with standard dense attention. So it's same as Llama model, except the fact that it has been trained on 8K sequence length and uh, for up to 1.5 trillion tokens. And the best part of this model is it comes with the Apache 2.0 license, so you can use it in a commercial setting. Um, and the code base is also available and uh, the models are also available. So let's take a look at the models first. Um, here we have 7B 4K base with 4K sequence length and 7B 8K base model, which is the 8K sequence length and both are licensed under Apache 2.0. We also have some instruction fine-tuned models, um, but you should note that it is released only for research purposes. It's still missing the license. They use the tick token tokenizer from OpenAI and the model is same as Llama model. So let's go and uh, take a look at uh, how the instruction model works and for this we are going to build a simple summarize application so let's let's get started with building the application and see if it works properly so i'm in my vs code environment and uh, now we can start uh, taking a look at the model but before we need to uh, import a few things so let's import torch um, let's import gradio import gradio as gr and from transformers we import auto tokenizer and auto model for causal lm and once we have that we can load the tokenizer so to load the tokenizer you will also need to uh, note that you, you need the tick token package so you can just do pip install tick token salesforce slash the name was xgen 7b 8k inst so the instruction fine tune fine tune model uh, not instagram Okay, so we have this and uh, we also need to make sure that we add the parameter trust remote code equal to true. Great, so we have the tokenizer now and we load the model. Model is auto model for causal LM from pre-trained, the same model and torch D type equal to torch dot B float sixteen, and we can also add load in eight bit equal to true. Great, so we got the model and we got the tokenizer. Now we will write a simple function for summarization. So define. Let's call this function summarize. And here we have the text. So we can say like, <clears throat> since it's an instruction fine tuned model, we should have a header. And I'm just going to copy paste it from the model card. So header is something like this. It says a chat between curious human and artificial AI, artificial intelligence assistant. The system gives helpful detail and polite answers to the human's questions. Okay, so we got that and now we have the text. So we will format our text. We will say header plus has three hashes, human 
and then we have the after human we say okay please summarize the following article and then we have the text and then we add three more hashes okay so now we have the we have the input uh, input text and now we can create the inputs using the tokenizer input says tokenizer return tensors pytorch and uh, then we have the generated ids so this here we will be using model.generate star star input uh, max length 1024 um, do sample true top k or top p 0 0.95 top k 50 um, temperature 0 0.7 so these are the parameters that you can play around with and the results the quality of results will depend on these parameters um, so now our summary is tokenizer dot decode generated id zero skip special tokens false dot l strip and since it's also going to generate uh, like all the inputs that you have provided and then it's going to end with the end of text token but for some reason it still seems to continue after end of uh, text token so the summary we can say like the summary starts from hash 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 assistant and ends with uh, the end token end of text token so we can just do summary so here comes the usefulness of github copilot and summary dot split and here i can write end of text zero return the summary uh, instead of returning the summary we are going to return gradio text box uh, with value equal to summary okay so we have the tokenizer tokenizer we have the yes spelling mistake so now we can use the gradio blocks api with gr.blocks as demo and now we have our uh, text box and the output text box and the submit button so with gr.row uh, we have the text which is a text box label text and we have the summary which is the which is a text box label summary let's also fix the lines to 20 same um and then we create a submit button submit is a button and then we say submit dot click it will use a summarize function where my inputs are text since it's just one input and output i'm going to remove the list and demo dot launch now let's see if it works okay so we have now python app.py let's see if it works so it's going to take a couple of minutes or maybe less a few seconds to start the app okay so the app has started so let's take a look um, we can directly go to so i can just click on open with browser and here is my text box and a summary box so i was thinking maybe we can just go to uh, the xgen blog post and copy this and paste it here and generating the sum uh, summary will uh, take take some time 
So we, we made a mistake in the code. It should be gr.textbox.update. So if, if we don't do that, we got the return, but it's just text box. So we unfortunately have to restart the app and uh, then we can try again. So the app is running again. Let's try. I clicked on run. So now we have the summary and it looks quite good, right? So it says that in order to address this limitation, the authors trained a series of 7B language models named NextGen, 8K sequence length, 1.5 trillion tokens. Yeah, it's pretty good. It takes a while, but yeah, uh, now you have, you, know, you have a good summary. So this is the demo. You can also use it for news articles. I've tried it on news articles and it seems to be performing quite good there too. And uh, um, I think that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, please uh, leave them in the comment section. And if you like this video, do subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. See you next time. Goodbye.